Hi guys, welcome once again to another episode of Tech The Things. Now today in the program, we'll be visiting Fort Charles, and this is in Port Royal, which is in Kingston. Now Fort Charles is the home of the Giddy House, and the Giddy House is one of the major attractions in Port Royal. And we'll be taken around by a tour guide who will tell us more about the place. So if you're new to the channel, just remember to subscribe. And if you want the latest videos, remember, click the bell. Now what you're hearing in the background is the sound of helicopters. They are the JDF, which is the Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard, practicing their aviation skills. So, when I came there a couple of years ago, you could just go in and view the place, but now it's been regularized. So, you have to pay a fee to be taken around and show the, the area, which is a good idea to have this place under some amount of structure. You have a JDF Coast Guard, you have the JCF Coast Guard. Right. Hello. Hello. Vanessa. Hello, how are you doing? How much are you going at it? So the price is 2,400 Jamaican dollars and if you have a Jamaican ID, which would be driver's license, national ID or passport, then you pay a total of $1,500. Now, I left mine in the car so I'm just going for it so that I could pay a reduced price.
and a half. Thank you for welcoming us. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so here's a tall guy behind you. Oh. Okay. Here you go. You can go inside. I'm sure we'll finish with you guys. All Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. All right. So I do apologize in advance for the noise that you will be hearing. It is the sound of the helicopter that will be hovering over our heads from time and again. No, this is the knowledgeable tour guide that we have here. So, hand it over to her. Yes, ma'am. Port Rogers first built in 1656. Right. The first name Port Cromwell. 1660, the name was changed when Charles II became King of England. Now, this lovely Guangu tree that we're standing under, this tree is over 200, 230 years. They bear a pot on it, which they used to feed the animals with. Now, this tree is even called a four o'clock tree. Why? Four o'clock in the days and it blows up. Okay. All these bits that they the put, except for those ones on top, because from time to time we have to do some renovation. All these bits came from England and the ship has balanced. The Maritana, they used to hold those bits back then as white light, molasses, and sand. Where do I use my, the, the barrel? These are not original. Okay. Oh, sorry, love. Sorry, sorry. All the things are original. This is four. Those two buildings and four cannons that I'm going to show you. Okay. All these cannons are replicas. Mm. Only those ones. Those are cannons that we retrieved from the Sunken City. Five four which was built and four got destroyed. The 1692 right there. Right. And 1692, the one where, where, where um, take mash up, no man, mash up and put right here. I miss a 1907. 1907 is a piece of Ah. Which destroy everything which built outside in the 18th century. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now the road that you drove to get, well, at least you're somewhere near there. Mm. You know, you know your thing. Yes. The road that you drove we know we think Kerry. <laughs> well, you see the beauty is when I take him outside, he won't confuse it with the 1692 because he knew about the 1907. Right. So, yes. he knew something. Yes. You know, the road that he drove on to get to Port Royal, there was no Only way to get to Port Royal back then, it has to be by a ship or a boat. All right. So this is Fort Charles. Mm -hmm. This is where you are today. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, Fort Charles is surrounded with water. Mm -hmm. So where were you saying there's no road? There was the road that you drove on yeah. the Palisada Strip. There was none. Oh, okay. Now these are keys which are outside in the ocean today. Mm -hmm. the lime keys are very popular key. Yeah, this because because visitors come here yeah. every day just yeah. go on lime key. No rock and key play a part in my tour. We had a okay. pirate here by the name of Calico Jack and his right name is Jan Rakam. Right. So they give that key his name. Ah, Why? Okay. He was a well-known pirate and just by a coat that he wore. Now after them execute him, they put a stake on this key and put his body there to rot. Mm. Why? This is the gateway to Port Royal. 
So every shit that comes, everybody will pass his body there, right? Mm -hmm. It's a statement them sending across. Ah, let me see the No, Port Royal had 51 acres of land. During the 1692 earthquake, we lost 33 acres, went 40 to 50 feet deep into the Kingston Harbor. So the shaded part is what we lost. Wow. Right? So we have 51 acres, we're going to end up with 18. So this used to all be land? Mm -hmm. So all of that we lost. Mm. It went 40 to 50 feet deep into the Kingston Harbor, which we call the sunken city today. Now Jamaica, the seventh largest natural harbor right through the world. There was no Kingstown. Only Spanish town was developed. Why? The Spanish were here from the 14th century. 6,500 people are living here in Port Royal. Only 2,500 survived that 1692. 4,000 people died. Right. <laughs> tell me some Henry Morgan. Um, I don't to tell her something about it, but I don't you know about it. In the center here, right? We have a plantation down in the center. Center, I know you saw. Oh. But he was working with the queen. Okay. So he was the only one who was a license now to keep. Because he, he, he was a pirate, now he becomes a private here. Oh, okay. okay. So he was a traitor towards him, fellow. Pirate. Governor of Jamaica, you know? Yeah. She anointed him and he come Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. Okay. Now, do you believe in growth? Uh, well, if you're videoing, you may see a soldier or two in the background. Not see and say. Many visitors come right back here and show us. Eh? Uh huh. <laughs> Don't bother frightening them, but. No, no, I'm not afraid. I'm there already. If you, if <laughs> no. you scream. Huh? <laughs> Stop it. No, just along here is the mess deck. So, this is where the soldiers would dine. 500 soldiers, but you'd only find five to six men in each group dining. Why? Mm. Or because of rats. So, this would just rotate right through the days. Gradually, they got the hang of it. So, each time the ship starts to come, it comes with cats. And that's how we know today cats get rid of rats. Uh -huh. Now upstairs it would be the jack. Today is the necessary house. The, wait yeah. a second, the soldiers were dying because of rats? The rats say? bring, bring, bring the, the disease. The disease. Oh, okay. Now upstairs there would be the jack. Today is the necessary house. What mm. make it a necessary house is the soldier's toilet. So there would be no more privacy, no door. Three soldiers would be using the toilet at the same time because there are three seats and three buckets. Mm. Toilet paper did exist, but not on the Western Hemisphere. Mm. So a jar of water would place upstairs. Now each time the soldiers <laughs> use the toilet, they would wash themselves. Up. There is no soap to wash their hands, so that's why many of them died from cholera and yellow fever. Oh. Now they them up with leptospirosis. Right. You understand? Mm. Now in the night, the servant would go and retrieve those buckets, give it to a man who used it as fertilizer. To go. Just along here, this would be his chamber pot. Turn around, please. And this is where he washes his hands and face. Oh, okay. Like sink.
find two soldiers sleeping on the top, two on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Just above us would be the officer's quarter. So the rest of soldiers would pitch tents all around the fort. And as you see bench and table inside here, soldiers wasn't allowed to dine. Each time the air and the straw comes, it comes with rats. Too many soldiers were dying from cholera and yellow fever. Mm -hmm. you know, those rats is gonna bring leptospirosis. Soldiers who are off duty, you find them just relaxing, some playing games, some will just be drinking their grog, and the grog is them rum. Oh, okay. Now inside here is a courtyard. So this is where all the activities would have took place. Ah. Drilling, presentation, even execution. Mm -hmm. Soldiers who get caught in dirty uniform will get plugging inside here. <laughs> now that semicircle around the step, that one seems to be the magazine room, and at that time, poachers only had 32 cannons. Over the years, we end up with 104 <laughs> cannons. Over the years, we end up with 104 cannons. So we built a new magazine room in the 18th century. 1905, when the British captured, we took back 100 cannons. So you see why those ones around here is replicas, right? Mm -hmm. This too is just a good view of what the poachers are doing. Right. No, those two small ones on the wheel, they are for close distance attack. Those two big ones. One ah. No, we really see all those barren. Laundry will be taking place. Laundry will take three days, 500 soldiers. The servant will go around and collect all the urine. Stood for two weeks, now that becomes a morning. Ah. The uniform that the soldiers used to wear back when they were full white. Now their moon is next to bleach. Yeah. So she'll put the uniform into it and it soak. So. Then she'll have a big pot of boiling water where she drinks it. When you come back, you can get through those. Yeah. Don't go that side. If you go that side, not going to see. Look outside. Right. Look into the water. Yeah. You can hear the the white sand. Like sand, yeah. Um, you not seeing it? Short. Between oh, the light. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. No, that's rock and pee. Okay. So that's where calico drop body would have placed. Mm. No, the sea was just at the foot of the wall. So you see how far it has gone back. So these cannons are. Yeah. So this have a plastic. Fiberglass. Okay. These ones now is where we retreat from some things. Mm. Yeah. That's the old neighbor hospital. That is one of the strongest buildings we have here in Port Royal today. Or they can give you a free So if you're diving, you have to get permission from them. Okay. Where you park? You park in the water. Outside here is called a chocolate hole. So that is where small vessels will come back in. But whenever the tide is high, water still comes up back. There are some metal rings on the outer wall. Oh. Those rings are called mooring rings. But that's where those small vessels will move to. Oh. Gotcha. Ah, see the giddy house there. Uh -huh. The giddy house. Anyway, where it goes. Giddy house. So here are two rings. She one will tell you. Here one on the wall here. What? But those ones outside is a little bit bigger. So these are mooring rings. This is what ships would moor to. So oh. Water. Can you both swim? Yeah. Yes. 
this is how I escape. Once water catch these legs, it will come to the So this is where Lord Arisha Nelson would do all his patrol. So this is lower gun deck, upper gun deck. So you just back and forth, just looking through these holes just to see ships coming in. Mm. 1951, Jamaica got a hurricane by the name of Hurricane Charlie, right. which destroyed all of Nelson's quarter deck. 1953, the Queen came here and she bought these. So these are timbers. These are here from 1953. Maybe so. Only those ones on top, they will change from time to time. Oh, yeah. No, this was a jungle bill for sharp people. You're going to watch it here. <laughs> Go ahead, Kerry. It's made for you. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you all about the Victoria battery along with four underground bunkers. Victoria battery. Alright, who want to read, read? So what was outside here? Huh? What was outside here? Now see? Today we are Jesus' disciples. We're going to walk on water. Okay? I see. <laughs> that was a true thing. Now whenever the tide is high, all that built 1888 water still comes up. Really? Like now? Yeah. Oh. Now this is how we gain the land. Oh. After the 1692 earthquake, the rivers in the east, the current washes its silt and sand uh -huh. over 196 years. So this is natural deposit. Right? The road that you drove on, that's how you end up with the road. Mm. Outside the Chocolata Hole, it was partially filled in. The British now in turn fill it out, it becomes a parade ground. These cannons would be of no more use. Because as you see, how far the sea has pushed back. Now, right. to get closer to the ocean, they build the Royal Artillery Store, right. which, which gets its name, the Giddy House, or because of visitors who gave it that name. Oh. Now, that round one is a Queen Victoria battery. To my right, there are four underground bunkers. You pass a fort on your left before you reach Fort Royal. That okay. fort is Fort Rocky. Mm. Now, all built 1888. All got destroyed by the Kingston earthquake, which came here the 14th of January, 1907. Right. Why? It is built on sand. And what a good book tell us. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. Right. Now, this what is, gun okay, is okay. a 20-ton cast iron gun. Mm. Now, this is built 1883 in Arsenal. Now, this is more a modern gun to those guns in the fort. Those cannons uses a cannonball, this one uses a shell. Now, this 20-ton gun which sits in the center of the Victoria battery, mm. sitting on this metal part that we dug out. So this would be the base for this gun. Right. Now this gun could rise, it could rotate, shoot six miles out. Oh. oh. You can look through it? Right. Feel it too. Don't care how hot the sun is, it stays cool as ever. Yes! You're right. This cool. The cool man. What kind of iron you was make it? Cast iron. Cast iron. Then time the material is material. Everything water down there. Yes. All was in there. This is the giddy house there. <laughs> this is a famous giddy house. You yes. Come to Fort Charles and don't go inside. Sure. That's true. Inside. Go in. I'll wait till he takes a picture. No, a video. Whoa. Oh, I'll go in after. Yeah, my understand. Where are you going with your bag? Whoa. <laughs> 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 Alright. What happened? <laughs> you felt giddy? Yeah. yeah. That's a giddy house there. Come on, my turn to be giddy. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I'll Press the record. Well, okay. Make sure this thing is running. <laughs> Gee. <laughs>
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa, did better than you. I got in it already, you know, so that's why. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I did come here. Okay. Yeah, man. So, what is it? Huh? It's the um, Royal Artillery Store built 1888. 1907 yeah. earthquake tilted. Ah! Because it's on sand and the sand is loose. Mm -hmm. Tilt the Royal Artillery. I will leave uh, no, These are the four underground bunkers. Okay. So these four got destroyed by the 1907 earthquake, right? So this one will be the Prince Albert battery. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was a child, I played hide and seek outside here. Mm. You enter from the Victoria battery and you come through this one, but this one got destroyed even more. So where you see that signs of danger, there's a next one. Mm. Look, you see all those stumps coming up? Yes. Those are air vent. So once I walk on, they need to take me back to another bunker. But before you can get here, we have to go to the big So we're going there? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, we don't know when I'm expert big vent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you mean so you can't walk under there though? It can. Generally, it can. We just don't allow nobody to do it. Yeah, yeah. Danger. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> when you don't miss me. <laughs> so these are ear vents. Mm -hmm. To get inside the Victoria Bar, you have to enter from the top there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now this is the this replica the one there. of that 20 ton gun. Right. Oh, now all these metal rings, chain would be in it to tension that big gun. You know that big gun could rotate. To get a hold of the gun, it can't blow the full top. Mm. Come the side of the you know, Once you enter from there, this is where you come to, where this ladder is. I come to this, mm -hmm. okay. And that's the entrance uh -huh. to take you back to the four underground uh -huh. bunkers. You now you stand there, I'm gonna rise this big gun. Oh, huh? Right. So back then there was no electricity, no hydraulic, no power. Yeah, you need to light that up. Huh? Yeah, that's good. Oh. Rise of the machine in Port Royal. Oh, she's doing it. Okay.
right now. We did, they get it. Oh, you can stay and take all the photos in. Oh, good man. Oh, we're good man. I think we're getting enough. We're getting enough. Yeah, man, we get, we get a full, a full money. But we store and it's sunk. All oh, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now this is what Jamaica had long before America. Yes. This is the giddy house. So these tracks will be somewhere ah. in front here. Remember, I tell you about Fort Rocky and you pass it. Well, these tracks will take you back to Fort Rocky. Okay. But all got destroyed. 1907. Uh huh. Okay, so train. I guess a train did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Never mm -hmm. know. Never know. I remember that, 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 that vehicle never the boat enough. So this is the fastest way now to get the photo. Yeah, and I think they may say yes, a light did it first. Yeah. Yes, Saint, before um, America. Saint, you told me that. I yeah. swear. Saint yeah. Saint Saint Elizabeth. Right, 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 oh. right. Saint it. Saint mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Right. And we first have post office. Yes. And America follow it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't feel that way. We look a bit, but we're taller. Taller, Oh boy. Yeah, man. Poor trial. So, oh, okay. So, because remember, when they come here. A years ago still, years yeah, ago. You came here run by Jamaica National Heritage. Oh. Ship came here, Port Royal. Mm -hmm. You know what about one pier? Yes, yes. Then the fort opened by Port Authority. Uh huh. Yes, I'm gonna take um. Yeah, they, when they, when they, yeah, when they, what what thing they name? We go, we go in a town. And a tub. The boat. What the boat name? The ferry. Ferry. Yeah. Which part of the ferry land? Well, the ferry don't run anymore. Yeah, like. Years now. <laughs> Really? Well, a long time I take a ferry still. Well, a long, long, long time. Years. Okay. So a, bo a bus and thing. A bus we take. So we take it from, from, from the mall. Yes, down a Ocean Boulevard. Yeah, and then it go down to the craft market. Yes. Yeah, and come over. Yes. So, the okay. jetty is still there. Port Authority to build back that jetty uh, here in Port Royal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. A long time then, man. Mm -hmm. Some so, man love our man, you know. They are man, you sweet? Yes, no, sir. Okay. Because they are feeding up the sea water, as I tell you. Oh, uh, yes. But your taste and my taste can be different. Ah, true, true. You know, Mr. Man. Because I poured in this, so I grew up, I born and grew up. Okay. Yeah, man. So, our man, our man, we have to eat our man to live, boy. Mm, you're right. Tell you? Mm, no, well, sir. Like no, sir. Hot. But now nah, nah, you just still come and pick it. You're going to waste it. Hey. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. You think so? Yeah, man. You think so? I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. You know we have about 100 and 40 students. What? Yeah, man. You know we have so much of them. No, man. I wish you out. I guess so. Yeah. All right. So like, like, like during the week, enough visitors come, or just like weekends? No man, during the week, man. Mm. I didn't tell you about school. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Mm -hmm. You know when the ship comes, I will it from. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. We party last night, can we wake up here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right then, thanks sir. All right, all right. The helicopter don't know. Yeah, so the sword would have gone. Can we just that plan to stand up and video then good enough? I'm going to teach them for soon. 
Oh, swimming time. Mm -hmm. Are everyday business then do the it's helicopter stuff? Mm -hmm. oh. It depends on them of the card. Oh. Some of them is card or some of them. Mm -hmm. These are young troops, just giant. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Teach them to swim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, then, here, thanks Thank very much, man. Much All right. Much <laughs> so, this takes us to the end of the tour of Fort Charles. I hope you do enjoy watching the video. If you do, you can leave a comment. And if you don't, you can also leave a comment. So, from Tech of Things, this is Duke Quick saying, peace out. <laughs>